everyone, I am Elizabeth Ozamora from NR13 and now I will demonstrate on how to assess respirations. First, in assessing respiration, you need to assess the patient. You need to consider the following. The skin and mucous membrane color, position assumed for breathing, signs of cerebral anoxia, the signs for cerebral anoxia are the following. Mood swings, difficulty speaking, weakness, feeling dizzy or disoriented, an inability to concentrate, memory loss, headache, difficulty walking, and problems with coordination. You need also to consider the chest movements, activity intolerance, chest pain, dyspnea, and medication affecting respiratory rate. And then you need to assemble the equipment needed. The equipment needed is the second a watch with second hand indicator. And then you need to identify yourself and verify the client's identity. Explain to the client what you are going to do, why is it necessary, and how the client can cooperate. So this is my patient. Good morning, sir. I am your nurse for today, Elizabeth Ozamora. May I know your name, sir? When so much it is. Your birthday, sir? December 7. And then after that, you need to perform hand hygiene. You need also to observe the other appropriate infection control procedures. <coughs> and next, provide for clients' privacy. And then, observe or palpate and count the respiratory rate. If you anticipate the client's awareness of respiratory assessment, place a hand against the client's chest to feel the chest movements with breathing, or play, place the client's arm, raise the client's arm across the chest, and observe the and observe the chest chest movements while while well, supposedly taking the radial pulse. Count the respiratory rate for 60 seconds. An inhalation and exhalation count as one respiration. Now we will now count the respiratory rate of the patient. And after that, observe the depth, rhythm, and character of respirations. Observe the respirations for depth by watching the movement of the chest. Observe the respirations for regular or irregular rhythm. Observe the character of respirations, the sound they produce, and the effort they require. And then, document the respiratory rate, depth, rhythm, and character on the appropriate record. I hope you have learned something from my videos. Thank you for watching. Bye!